to another video. I'm going to do another cooking video for you guys today because you really like the previous one about the seasonal Buddha bowl. Make sure to check it out if you haven't already checked it out. This time I'm gonna show you to make three of my favorite curries which I've been having on repeat because they're so delicious, so simple, very cheap and they make great leftovers as well. We make sure to leave all the ingredients and method in the description box with all the links from my blog, from my Instagram, from my ebook. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. The first recipe which we're gonna make is my coconut, chickpea, and spinach curry. And as always, we're gonna start by chopping a white onion. You wanna make sure you chop your onion very, very finely uh, because that's gonna make the curry even more creamy. Um, I'm then gonna add some coconut oil to a large pot and once the oil is melted I'm adding in the chopped onion and I'm just gonna saute for about five minutes until the onion starts to caramelize. We're then gonna add in one teaspoon of mustard seeds and one teaspoon of cumin seeds and then we're gonna stir again for a couple of minutes until the seeds start to pop and then adding some crushed garlic and other spices like curry, spice, curry powder and turmeric powder. Stir everything again until the spices are fragrant and smells absolutely heavenly. And then adding some crushed ginger and again we stir everything together. And I'm then gonna add one can of drained and rinsed chickpeas and one can of coconut milk. We're just gonna combine everything together and then we're just gonna let it cook on a medium to low heat for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm cooking my brown rice, but you can obviously use white rice as well. And after 20 minutes, your curry is pretty much ready. I'm just adding an handful of baby spinach and then we're gonna stir so this baby spinach wilt. And to finish off the curry, I'm just gonna add the juice of alpha lime, which gives it a kind of like really nice, zesty flavor. Honestly, this curry is so simple, so delicious. You can actually make a much bigger batch and freeze it as well. It's creamy, full of flavor, warmy. It's honestly one of my favorite dinner. The second curry which we're making is a laksa curry soup where you're starting with some shallots, some um, lemongrass, some chili and some ginger and garlic. And then we're gonna blitz everything into a food processor and this is gonna be our curry paste which is gonna make all the difference in terms of flavor. I'm also adding a little bit of coconut oil just to help the food processor to really get the curry paste nice and smooth. And finally, I'm actually blitzing it with an unblender because I really want like a creamy and smooth curry paste. I'm then adding it to a large pan. We don't need any oil because there is already some oil in the curry paste. And we're gonna kind of stir it on a medium heat for about five to eight minutes until you can really smell the spices. In the meantime, I'm cooking my rice noodles. And then I'm also adding other spices to the curry paste like coriander, ground turmeric, and we're gonna mix everything together. And then adding about a liter of veggie stock, so that's gonna make our really flavorful broth perfect for our noodles. You wanna mix everything together and then we're gonna let it cook on a medium heat for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, I'm steaming some greens. I'm going for tender stem and green beans. And then after 25 minutes, I'm adding a full can of coconut milk, which is gonna make this soup so creamy and even more delicious. And then adding some coconut sugar, just to give it a little bit of sweetness and the juice of alpha lime to add even more flavor. I like to serve this soup either with some tempeh or some tofu, something which is already marinated and flavorful. So this time I'm using some smoked tofu, but also the tempeh which I show you is such a delicious alternative. And then we're just gonna serve our soup into a bowl. I added the tofu to the soup so the tofu also gets warm. And then we're gonna add our noodles. 
Also gonna add the steamed greens. Um, I love tender stem with noodle soup, a sprinkle of spring onion, and finally some chopped coriander. That's your soup. I also added some sesame seed and some sliced chilies, but that's totally optional. I love this soup so much, especially when it gets cold. The curry paste honestly makes all, all the difference. Please try it, you're gonna thank me later. is a mung bean curry and we're gonna start by soaking our mung beans for eight hours or even longer if you can we're gonna drain them rinse them and I'm gonna cook in them in a pressure cooker because it takes so much less time for about 25 minutes and then adding some coconut oil to a large pan and once it's melted and hot I'm adding some uh, mustard seeds some cumin seed and I'm just gonna stir them for a few minutes until the seeds start to pop and then I'm adding some fresh curry leaves, which they make all the difference. I know they're a bit harder to find, but they're so worth it because they add so much flavor. You just wanna fry the curry leaves for a few minutes until they start to smell incredible. And then we're gonna add some crushed garlic and some ginger, one finely chopped white onion. And then we're just gonna stir everything together for about five minutes until the onion is fragrant. We're then adding our cooked mung beans with some tomato passata and some coconut milk. As you can see, the mung beans, when you cook them, they go quite mushy and quite soft. So the consistency of this curry is gonna almost be like a dal. We're gonna stir everything together before I'm adding some garam masala, some coriander powder and some turmeric powder. We're gonna mix everything again until the spices are well combined and then a pinch of salt before we let it cook on a low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. And after that, the curry is ready. As you can see, it's super creamy and it's got that kind of lentil uh, consistency. I love to serve with some coconut yogurt, some chopped coriander, a squeeze of lime, and I really like to kind of like dip in a naan bread, it just, oh, so, so creamy. And I promise you this curry, like every curry, I guess, tastes so much better the next day. So it's great for leftovers as well. And these are my three favorite curries, which I'm currently obsessed with. I'm actually just having the mung bean curry with some leftover quinoa for lunch. It's probably my favorite out of the three but the laksa noodle soup is also so good when the temperature drops. Mm. Honestly, the next day is just twice better. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe because I'm going to upload a video every single week, as I promise. <laughs> I actually have lots of recipes in my mind which I want to share with you guys soon, so yeah. Stay tuned for that and I will see you very soon. Bye.